Sony PlayStation has been in a very interesting spot over the course of the last couple of months because honestly, so far in 2022, they've kind of been killing it. Games like Horizon Forbidden West are actually selling some record-breaking numbers. Gran Turismo 7 is still being talked about. We're about to get, obviously, The Last of Us Part 1 Remake, and now we're less than 100 days from God of War Ragnarok. But there's one rumor that keeps going around. It's something that a lot of subscribers have asked about, which is this rumored PlayStation Showcase, which is apparently going to be happening here in the next couple weeks. But I want to talk about the rumor and sort of my thoughts on it, because something is definitely very weird. What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So for this video today, we're checking out this article over on Game Rant that really sums up the entire situation very, very well. And it says, rumor, PlayStation Showcase happening this month. A rumor suggests that a big showcase, this is maybe the biggest showcase of the year, simply called the PlayStation Showcase, will be happening soon. Now. This is very interesting to me because specifically inside of this, they make it a point to say that this is not a state of play. Now, the difference being the fact that typically Sony does state of plays for a particular project. At least that's what they've been doing for something like Ratchet and Clank or whenever they're about to do something like Ghost of Tsushima. They do a very extreme deep dive on that specific game, obviously to boost up those pre-order numbers. I mean, that sort of makes sense from a marketing standpoint, whereas PlayStation showcases, they're more about just why you need to buy a PlayStation in general, showing up off. Console features, upcoming exclusives, downloadable content, more about trailers, trailers, trailers. Now, the idea of a PlayStation Showcase to me seems pretty realistic just because they have so much going on, but also how much we haven't seen. Now, you may be asking why specifically it would be shown in August. Well, that's because this is the interesting lull where typically Sony likes to speak up. Now, we're not quite in the summertime. Things are actually winding down. We're going into fall and and we're going into the big game release season. Obviously, October, November, and December this year are packed with games. Everything from giant RPGs. Obviously, we're getting stuff like Callisto Protocol, which looks absolutely perfect. I mean, it is about to get very, very crazy. And Sony wants to make sure that when you walk up to a store shelf to perhaps buy that holiday gift, you get it on the PlayStation. Well, here's what's interesting. We're coming up on Gamescom. Gamescom is a sort of like mini E3 that happens over in Germany. Now this year, it sounds like things are really cooking up. I've been looking over at Jeff Keighley's account. Jeff Keighley, obviously one of the major guys who does, he does this thing called Opening Night Live, which kicks off Gamescom. And he's talking about the fact that he has exclusive world premiere gameplay for Sonic Frontiers. He's saying that the show is two hours. It's got thousands of fans in the audience and 30 plus games on stage. Now, this is interesting math. Two hours and 30 games being shown, that could be five minute trailers for a lot of this. We could get maybe a 15 minute gameplay demo and a couple teasers. But the fact that this is starting off Gamescom, I don't think that PlayStation is going to be part of this event, but a lot of times recently, since PlayStation has not been participating directly in major events, like PlayStation hasn't gone to the last couple E3s, they haven't really been going to like Tokyo Game Show. Usually though, they do their own standalone conference nearby, sort of at the same time to make sure that they're saying, hey, don't forget about us. Just because we're not at that event doesn't mean we're sitting around. But part of what sticks in my mind, it sort of makes me think that this rumor might be true. And I'm sure it's the reason you guys keep sending it to me is because we're coming up on God of War Ragnarok's release date. Right now, it's November 9th that that comes out. Less than 100 days from God of War Ragnarok. And look, I have that game's Ultimate Super Collector's Edition pre-ordered, but we know next to nothing about it. They haven't shown us any real gameplay. They haven't shown us any raw combats. They haven't explained much about the setting or the story other than the fact that it's snowy and that Odin's going to show up. Like, as excited as I am about God of War Ragnarok, it's weird that we haven't seen more press or more hype building up to a game that right now is one of the most hyped PlayStation 5 exclusives of all time. 
I'm curious why it hasn't been shown off, but let me take a look at this source. So let me scroll down here a bit. This guy is Nick's, uh, Nick, special Nick. Uh, this guy basically, typically he's been a leaker in the past talking mostly about Xbox stuff, but recently he's gotten some very, very, very good leaks all about PlayStation when there was all that weird gameplay leaking for The Last of Us remake. This guy is the dude who posted all of it. Uh, the man has extreme deep dive access, it seems like, at least to particular studios inside of Sony, and he said this. So I've been getting asked. I asked if Sony had a show planned for September and got told that at the moment the plan is for a show in August. But just to make sure those who want to be pissed at me will be, not sure if it will be moved. This man talks like a lunatic. Who tweets like this? Okay, so this is a little bit of word salad because he's putting so many commas in there and stuff, but really what he's saying is that he talked to his sources inside of Sony and they said there's not a big showcase in September because it's probably going to be in August. Now, what is it they're probably going to show? Like, there's a lot of talks about the fact that it's weird that we haven't seen more discussion about The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Maybe it's just because since it is pretty much just a graphical patch, there's not much you actually need to show off. But it's weird that we haven't seen really an E3 level presentation since early June. And typically around this time is when Sony likes to do their victory lap. Now, what I mean by that is that for the last couple years, Sony really likes to pat themselves on the back. I think they deserve it. I think a lot of their games are extremely good. I think they've been actually kind of killing it with exclusives. But Sony really likes to just go, yeah man, we're making all the good games. I'm goofy all of a sudden. But my thought is that if they do that this year, I'm kind of curious, now seems like the best time to do it before the games actually start coming out. It's got to be in August or September, simply because we're about to start bumping into the crazy releases for the holiday season, and you do not want to be announcing games during that season. Have you ever wondered why it is that we see the Game Awards happen in mid-December? It's because the major releases are out of the way. There is only so much time and attention that gamers have. A lot of us work, a lot of us are doing stuff, a lot of us have busy lives, hanging out, playing games, watching movies. You do not want to try and just steal attention away from big releases to talk about a game that isn't out yet. I think the rumors of a PlayStation showcase are incredibly fun. I'm excited about them. As it currently stands, I think they hold a lot of water. I would not be shocked at all, but my biggest hope is that two things at once. I hope A, that it's like a 30 to 40 minute showcase, something, you know, under an hour, but full of great games because there is a lot to show and talk about. But my other port is that I do hope that they give us more release dates. As it stands, it's a bit strange that there is a bunch of stuff coming out in 2022 and 2023, but only a couple big projects actually have release dates. I just like when Sony is very, very clear. No fluff, no filler, no BS. Just say, here's the game, here's when you can play it, and here's the gameplay. Right now, it definitely seems like Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo are kind of killing it. I mean, it sounds like the next few years are certainly going to be good. I'm hoping we get a Nintendo Switch Pro, but as it stands, I think Sony is really setting themselves up for success. I just wish they'd open their mouth a tiny bit and give some extra details. Talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Talk about Forspoken. Talk about Final Fantasy 16, or give us actual gameplay for the Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 Rebirth. Show us the goods. Just give me a little bit of skin, Sony. Please, please, I've been so good. Well, what are your thoughts about this? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you believe the rumors of a PlayStation showcase? Because if we do, it might be pretty great to see it. Well, thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Uh, I'm working on a video, by the way. I've actually been working on it all morning. Uh, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but I'm doing sort of a re-review of The Last of Us Part 2 because I've kind of bagged on that game. Uh, I go back and forth. Sometimes I hate The Last of Us Part 2. Sometimes I love it. Um, I've done like three playthroughs in the last two weeks. Uh, I want to do like a, a deep dive on that game. So be ready for that. Also, I'm doing a bunch of other reviews.
Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.